So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special video about how to be the best gamer by using astrology. Because a lot of my followers are very, very young individual who always request, uh, even especially on my Keras vlogs, they request for me to talk about, you know, how can one become good at gaming uh, using astrology? So that's what I'm going to talk about today. And I also want to let you know is that I put the first 30 seconds of uh, Meeting Ketu movie on Kara's vlogs today. Because obviously those are the people who really helped fund this movie. So, you know, got to show my appreciation. So you want to be a great gamer. So in order to be a great gamer, okay, you don't even have to know astrology itself meaning like the houses and the aspects and the signs or the nakshatra. All you have to know is something known as Hora. Hora is the hour. Because each hour in our day is controlled by a certain planet. And the way to understand this, you know, again, I have simplified this on my vlogs and courses online, but um, you look at the sunrise. On a particular day so if it's Monday the very first hour of the sunrise is ruled by moon Tuesday is Mars Wednesday is Mercury Thursday is Jupiter Friday is Venus Saturday is Saturn Sunday is Sun so you just know the first hour the way this cycle goes is that if you let's say take Sunday the first hour of you know the sunrise would be Sun followed by Venus, followed by Mercury, followed by Moon, followed by Saturn, okay? And then followed by Jupiter, then Mars. And then the cycle will repeat again with Sun, you know, uh, Sun, Venus, uh, Mercury, Moon, you know, Saturn, so this is how the cycle repeats in a day. So if you just know this Hora concept, you will notice this. And why would you notice this? Because I myself, I guess I can say I'm a gamer because every day I play my Xbox. You know, especially I love playing the basketball game in there. So I do know certain strategies. Is that anytime you play a combat sport, a combat game, you know, whether um, it's Call of Duty, anything that requires you to fight, Mortal Kombat, you know, whatever, UFC, whatever game you're playing, play in the Hora of Mars. When you play in the Hora of Mars, your percentage of winning or at least getting close to winning where you're not embarrassed are exponentially high. The time that you do not want to play is Saturn. Do not play those type of video games in the horror of Saturn, the hour of Saturn. Then if you have other games, let's say, for example, Mario Kart, I don't know if that even exists anymore. But uh, anything that has not to do with combat, but it's just a fun game and yet you want to achieve a high score in it, do it in the Hora of Venus. Do it in the Hora of Venus. And the other one that I would also say that you avoid, especially when the game is regarding combat or strategies, Mercury Hora. Because in Mercury's hour, you're going to be very confused. What decision to make? Should I take my soldier this way? Should I take my soldier that way? Should I have the sniper here? Should I have it there? There's, there's a lot of confusion in making that final decision. But if you pay, play those type of games during the horror of Mars, you're going to be very determined that I have to do this. So, and, and also here's the thing, if you have never played games before and then you tried playing a game, you know, 
that's not how things work. You, I mean, it's like if you go and give a test, like a civil service test, you go to an astrologer, will I, will I get it? Well, the first thing that a astrologer should ask you, how much have you prepared for it? How much have you put your time to understand these things? Because there's no magic with astrology. You can have all the remedies, all the perfect hour, but if you're not prepared for it, the other piece of the puzzle is not gonna fit in. And so the puzzle of your victory is incomplete. Same thing with this. When you're playing games, when you have enough education that, okay, I've been playing this for two months, I know what to do, how to get this button, how to get that button, how to get this weapon, um, but still I just I kind of lose. Well, that's when you use these horas to become a good gamer. And you can apply these strategies even in stock market as well, for which I've made like four videos on my Keras vlogs on Makavitik Astrology Academy. So you can check it out there. And you have to understand, um, if you're playing against someone online, and if they're in the same time zone as you, that means they're also gonna be going through Mars's Hora. That means whoever Mars is stronger, that person will win. And so this is, for, this is why if let's say you, if let's say I'm here, you know, in central time zone, and if I play somebody from East Coast in New York, well, their Hora would be different than mine. I'm playing somebody from against in UK. Their Hora is going to be completely different than mine. And this is where then, you know, you have, either you'll have the advantage or the other person will have the advantage. But if you're playing somebody in the same time zone where that Hora of Mars is running and both of you are playing, well, in that case, then whoever has that stronger Mars will be able to prevail you know, in that situation. And that's when, of course, you want to understand your Mars's position, its sign, nakshatra, its shadbala, you know, how strong is the Mars in a person's chart. So then you can see that competitiveness. But if you're playing somebody from different time zone or against the computer, then, you know, this, this strategy becomes even more uh, potent. I just wanted to cover this because this has been a, a overdue subject that you know a lot of people ask me and I just did a consultation for someone who asked me this and they're like, I'm a video game designer, you know, whatever their concern was. So I'm like, all right, fine. I'll make this video uh, because, and this is something, the reason why I'm making it is because again, this is something I have dealt with. I deal with it every day. I, I love playing video games. So, you know, it just it just kind of like that side. After I'm done with my work, I just play them. I love I love it. It's just a great time pass. So I do know, and I've tried these strategies. So hopefully this has helped. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you can learn more of these type of videos. And if you want to know everything about your chart, your uh, you know uh, report and consultations, check out the links here. Otherwise, uh, I'm gonna see you tomorrow with the Dasamcha video. Bye bye.